Hello and welcome again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 22nd of March and this time I have a little bit of a discussion piece as well. We've all seen the dramas regarding Konami and Kojima. And while we do know, of course, that officially speaking, Kojima will be 100% involved with the Phantom Pain and that basically he's going to be, from the looks of things, passing ways with Konami once the Phantom Pain is ready and raring to be released, a lot of people have been wondering, and quite rightly so, well, what does that mean for Silent Hills? As of course, when that game was first revealed, not all that long ago, it was touted as a work between Kojima, Konami, and of course, Gilmero de Toro. So obviously, Hideo Kojima's departure from Konami has raised a lot of question marks regarding the status of this particular title. And well, we may have just had a little bit of confirmation with thanks to Peter Brown, who is actually from GameSpot, if I remember correctly. And he shed some light in the issue. And he said, quote, in regards to the Kojima production news and Silent Hills, that game is part of a deal between Del Toro and Konami, not Kojima. And I have checked his Twitter, unfortunately, he has not made any comments since then, unfortunately. So, well, he doesn't list his sources, but if Peter has the right of it, it sounds like Silent Hills is still going to be released, which is good because, well, the PT demo was pretty damn good, if a little cryptic for my tastes. It's just going to be going forward without Kojima. Now, while it's good that it's still being released and that Kojima's leaving won't actually mean that the project is canned, I still feel like the lack of his presence is definitely going to be felt. He makes some odd decisions. Some of them I don't agree with, some of them I do, but he is definitely a one and only. He's an original. He has some interesting ideas, and I feel like him working with a visual master like Del Toro could have been fantastic. That pairing is what got me so excited about Silent Hill again. Because after the last couple of Silent Hill games, which went from okay which was Downpour, and Pretty Damn Shoddy, which was Homecoming, and of course Shattered Memories, which is actually not too bad from what I've heard. You know, Silent Hill is a beloved franchise, but it's kind of like in the past, whereas PT came out and was like, hey, Silent Hill can actually be Silent Hill again, and look who we've got working on it, and I was like, oh yes. And I'm still excited for it, but I feel, well, the potential for it to be good has definitely dropped a bit. Perhaps I'm worrying over nothing, I do think Kojima was a bit of an odd choice for a horror game, but I still think his unique ideas could have brought something to the flavoursome stew that would have been Silent Hills. And obviously we'll never know what the game could have been with him involved, but I definitely feel like we're going to think when the game comes out, what could have this been? Hopefully it's still good. My hope is that it's still amazing. But I don't know. I just feel like having lost such a creative mind in the process, well, I don't know. Who's going to take his place? That's the question. It needs to be someone who understands Silent Hill, I feel. Otherwise, we're going to probably end up with another Homecoming. But hopefully that doesn't happen because, as I say, Silent Hill is one of my favourite franchises. It's gone a little bit downhill in recent years, but it still has a place in my heart. So I don't want to see anything bad happen to it, obviously. <sighs> so... Let me know your thoughts and opinions, guys. What do you think is going to happen with Silent Hills? Obviously, it's still coming out, but do you think it's just not going to be the same without Kojima? Or do you think that Del Toro and whoever ends up taking Kojima's place will be enough to give us a Silent Hill game we deserve? Do let me know, and I'll see you next time.